straight after Tuesday night's impressive win and, and um, performance as well. Um, we got the players straight away, well done for the, the, the win, uh, but the focus was straight away on the next game. Uh, so, you know, that's how, how long we celebrate a win and before we focus on the next one. Um, and that's obviously been our focus today in training with the players and obviously tomorrow before leading into Saturday's game. The, the conditions the other night were probably not the best to play in, but how satisfying was you know, the result at the end of the day and, and the step that that's taken you on? I think the, I think the last two games, you know, uh, our broth away with the, with the wind and the pitch, you know, the pitch is very dry and I don't think, you know, sometimes from the stands you can, and I'm including myself here, fully appreciate the difficulty of the pitch. Um, and that was the same the other night, but in both games, I thought, you know, both sets of players uh, have, have gave it everything. And then I've really been impressed with our mentality the last couple of weeks with the group. And we spoke about it again today in terms of, you know, questions were asked about us going to our bro. Some, you know, in, in my opinion, you know, probably being a little bit disrespectful to our bro, but, um, you know, uh, we, we stood up to it and uh, I was really pleased with what, how we came through it and that, you know, that, that point that we took was uh, backed up by a, a really impressive win on, on, on Tuesday. Um, and we've got to keep that mentality and we've got to keep that fight. And, and the game on, on Saturday again will be a, another completely different game coming your way. Yeah. What, how, how differently have you been preparing for that since your oh, result? Well, I mean, obviously... <laughs> It's not the first time we're going to be playing Morton, or the second time we're going to be playing Morton. So, you know, you know their strengths, you know areas where we feel we can exploit, um, and it's up to us to to go and impose ourselves on the, on the game again. Um, and you know, the, Morton have had a good season, uh, without a doubt, uh, and it's up to us to stand up to this next challenge. Then. But what's the importance of this game being at Dens Park? Um, two games on the trot in your home surroundings with the, with the fans behind you, what's it? No, I, look, look, listen, it's always nice to play at home and play in front of your fans. I think the fans of, um, you know, the noise levels the other night were, you know, brilliant. And I've said all along, we're, we're going to need them, we're going to need us, them to stick with us. And, you know, uh, no doubt in these remaining four games that they're going to be the ones that, you know, help us get over the line in particular games. And, um, you know, Saturday come in after you know for three games in a week it'll be we really need them to be as loud as they possibly can be supportive uh, and get the team over the line and strikers again scoring both the goals good to spread yeah. the t you know the goals yeah. about but how good is it when your your main men up front obviously are not going to ball in no definitely I think um, you know from a, a manager's point of view a coach's point of view you know you always want your strikers to be scoring goals that's their job and, and the fact that the you know, we win the game with both of them scoring is, is terrific and, uh, you know, they've got a good relationship off the pitch and, you know, they've got a good relationship on the pitch now and, uh, you know, there's more to come when, when they need to get better and there's no doubt about that, that they can do and, and they know that themselves and there's room for improvement. So, you know, it's exciting from there where their partnership can go. And the team news for the weekend, any team news? Um, Jordan McGee will wait on, obviously he got a, a blow on um, Tuesday night just before the end of the game, so we'll wait on him and see how he is. Um, Cammy Kerr was off ill at the weekend, um, he only trained on Monday, so he's had another session, two sessions, so that he should come back into the squad as well. Um, but, you know, everybody's competing and it's good at the moment. We've got bodies available to us. It's been a hectic week so far. Um, hard game up at Arbroath. Good game on Tuesday night. Could get back in the score sheet. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Saturday was disappointed. I think we went into the game believing we could win. Um, we had a great backing. A lot of fans made the journey um, to support us. So we were just a bit disappointed we couldn't repay them with a with a win um, but I think three points on Tuesday made that a good point in the end so um, we'll take it. How, how difficult were the conditions to play on Tuesday because it's probably the, the worst we've had for a wee while was that quite difficult to play in as a point? Yeah it was but it's the same for both teams isn't it um, I think we obviously we wanted to get the ball down and, and play a bit but it's hard on the on the surface as well as the weather 
Um, so, um, like I said, it's the same for both teams, and, and you can see we were we were trying things. I think first half um, we played some some decent football, um, but I think they they made it difficult, and um, in the end we, we couldn't get a, a breakthrough. I mean, there was not just the goal for yourself on, on Tuesday night. Obviously, had the assist for the first goal for Zach and things. Is it just sometimes that it just seems to click? Just all comes together for you just at the right time. It seems to be at the moment, so um, we hope that can continue. Um, yeah, I think you can see there's, there's good link up between us, um, especially with the the first goal. I kind of just knew when the ball was going into him just to to make a run off him, and then he he carried on as well. So. Um, no, it's, it's worked well for us. Looking at the game at the weekend, Morton again, uh, faced them a few times already this season, so you'll, you'll have a wee bit of an idea of, of what they're about and how they're going to play. But they'll have the same with you. What, what do you think Dundee can do differently this weekend to, to kind of catch them out and then catch them by, basically by surprise to, to win the, the game again? <laughs> uh, score a goal. <laughs> I think we've, we've played them three times and we've not scored against them yet, so... Um, that that's obviously a, a starting point, and we're going to go out to win the game. So you're going to need to score to win. And I think our recent home form has been good. We've scored, I think it's 13 in the last three, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, we want to keep that going into this game as well. I mean, that that's certainly the form that you're, you're involved in at the moment. Is you know it's championship winning form. But how important is it as you as a player to just focus on? the game for Saturday rather than it's four games to go. That's exactly what we're going to do um, and it's what we've done all season. Um, every game is, is different so we're, we're always preparing the week ahead for that specific game um, and nothing changes. We, we don't look ahead to the other fixtures or any other fixtures around us. We just focus on ourselves and what we can do and it's kind of sort of mediocre saying that but that's, that's exactly what we've been doing all season. Any worries from the Morton team that's coming to play at Dens? You've, you've had three attempts already at them, so any concerns for what they're going to bring to Dens Park on Saturday? I wouldn't say concerns, but we know what they're good at and how we can hurt them, so we're going to try and exploit that.